In the heart of Portland, Oregon, atop the picturesque West Hills, stands Pittock Mansion, a testament to the opulence and the vision of Henry and Georgiana Pittock. Constructed in 1914, the mansion reflects the architectural prowess of Edward T. Foulkes and the affluence of the Pittock family, prominent figures in Portland's history. Henry Pittock, the publisher of the Oregonian newspaper and his wife Georgiana, were instrumental in shaping the destiny of Portland. Their grand residence, Pittock Mansion, served as both a symbol of their success and a residence befitting their social standing. As the years unfolded, Pittock Mansion transitioned from a private residence to a cultural and historical landmark. Its preservation in the 1960s marked a turning point, safeguarding this architectural masterpiece for future generations. The architectural design of Pittock Mansion is a harmonious blend of Richardsonian Romanesque, French Renaissance, and other stylistic influences. Intricate woodwork, ornate detailing, and expensive grounds contribute to its breathtaking aesthetic. The legend has it that the mansion is haunted by the spirits of Henry Pittock and his wife Georgiana, who passed away in 1919 and 1918 respectively. Their love for the mansion was so profound that even in death they are said to roam its halls, unwilling to depart from their beloved home. Visitors to the mansion have reported eerie encounters and unexplained phenomena over the years. Some claim to have seen apparitions of a man and a woman dressed in clothing from the early 20th century, believed to be the spurs of Henry and Georgiana Pittock. Others have reported hearing disembodied voices and footsteps echoing through the empty halls when no one else was around. Another account comes from a visitor named John Anderson, who attended a guided tour of Pittock Mansion. During the tour, he reported hearing faint whispers in the tapestry room, where Georgiana Pittock's personal needlework was displayed. The whispers, he claimed, were unintelligible but carried an otherworldly quality that left a lasting impression. A group of friends, including Mary and Robert, decided to explore the mansion's gardens one moonlit night. As they strolled along the manicured path, they claimed to have seen shadowy figures moving among the hedges. Mary described the figures as ethereal and indistinct, yet possessing an undeniable human form. One particularly compelling tale involves Emily Turner, a distant relative of the Pettock family who visited the mansion during a family reunion. Emily claimed to have felt a cold presence and seeing fleeting glimpses of a woman in a white gown. Intrigued by the family connection, she delved into genealogical records only to discover that her great-grandmother had served as a domestic worker in the Pittock household. One particularly chilling tale involves a tour guide who was leading a group through the mansion late one evening. As they reached the grand staircase, the guide suddenly stopped in his tracks, his face drained of color. When the group asked him what was wrong, he recounted how he had seen a shadowy figure standing at the top of the stairs, watching them silently before disappearing into thin air. Despite searching the area thoroughly, no one else was found in the mansion at the time. Another unsettling incident occurred when a maintenance worker claimed to have heard the sound of a piano playing in the middle of the night. Thinking it was a trespasser, he went to investigate only to find the grand piano in the music room untouched and silent. Yet the haunting melody continued to fill the air, sending shivers down his spine as he realized he was alone in the mansion. Even skeptics have been unable to explain away the strange occurrences at the Pettit Mansion. Electrical malfunctions, cold spots, and objects moving on their own have all been reported by visitors and staff alike. Some believe that the spirits of Henry and Georgiana Pettock 
are simply unwilling to leave their beloved home, while others speculate that there may be darker forces at play. Skeptics argue that many reported paranormal phenomena can be attributed to natural causes such as creaky floorboards, drafts, or the power of suggestion. They contend that the mansion's historic ambiance and the stories of alleged hauntings may contribute to the visitors' perceptions. Psychologists studying paranormal experiences often emphasize the power of collective belief. When individuals visit a location with a reputation for hauntings, they may be more prone to interpret ordinary occurrences as supernatural and contribute to the perpetuation of ghost stories. While the alleged hauntings add a layer of intrigue to Pettock Mansion's narrative, its primary focus remains on education and community engagement. The mansion hosts educational programs, lectures, and cultural events to celebrate its historical and architectural legacy. Guided tours, led by knowledgeable docents, offer visitors a chance to appreciate the history and craftsmanship of Pittock Mansion. Preservation efforts by organizations and volunteers ensure that this cultural gem endures for generations to come. Pittock Mansion, with its rich history and architectural grandeur, stands as a testament to the aspirations and achievements of the Pettock family. While the alleged hauntings adds a layer of mystery, it's crucial to approach these stories with a blend of skepticism and appreciation for the cultural significance of this iconic landmark. So this is all I have for you today. Thanks for listening.